Now today we're hunting this uh, very old historic site. Jefferson Davis visited here. He and his first wife, Sarah Knox Taylor, the daughter of President Zachary Taylor. Uh, not much has come out so far. Did just dig this button here. I uh, have no idea what it is. Does have some lettering on it. Uh, doesn't appear to be a military button. Uh, just have to clean it up some more and see if we can figure out what the lettering is on it. Give us an idea of what it is when it dates to. Does have a design on it. Well, the ground's very trashy here. Uh, obviously an old cabin or house site. Uh, this appears to be a wick adjuster and some various pieces of either lantern or oil lamp or something of that sort all came out of the same hole. I don't know if you can see this uh, but there's something thin brass in the hole here. I'm gonna, maybe a, a spoon bowl. It's kind of what it looks like right now. Very thin though, very thin. Let me dig this out and I'll be back. And that's what it was, it was a spoon. The bowl is very, very thin. Surprised I got it out of the ground intact and in fact, it's so thin. And I just dug a pewter duck's head. Don't know, have any idea what that's from. And up next is a piece of harmonica reed. You know, half of harmonica reed anyway. Well, getting ready to walk away, swung the coil one more time, and here's the rest of the harmonica reed. And next up is a little suspender clip. Unbent, solid. <laughs> And this is a piece of a pewter button. It's an old one. Right under these live oaks. And next up is a flat button. It appears to be plain face. It looks like the shanks on the back. Yeah, the shanks on the back bent over, but the shanks on the back. Beautiful area here. Under these live oaks, very historic site. And this is either a coin or a button. Feels like a button, it is a button. Look at the, uh, where the shank was on the back there. flat button almost looks like it may have had uh, some sort of a uh, coating on it Yeah, looking at this a little closer, looks like it probably had a black glaze on it at some point in time. All right, still has the remnants of it, fairly good amount of it, as a matter of fact. I don't see any design in it, so it appears just to have been plain. Next up is a little uh, pistol-sized round ball. So, targets are coming up. Well, when I saw this uh, laying like that i thought i had a coin but it's not a coin it's a silvered flat button still got a heck of a lot of the silvering on it no design though and next up is this 
ornate looking little uh, buckle. That's a fancy little buckle. Looks like it may have been silver washed. I'm uh, digging in a very trashy area, obviously an old house site, lots of brick, lots of iron. And just came up with this, giving me good readings. Don't know how well that's showing up, but it's uh, a bridal rosette, lead filled. Civilian type. Looks kind of uh, flower shaped. Let me brush it off a little bit and see if I can clean it up a little bit. Well, the ground's very muddy, so it's really sticking to this rosette. But you can begin to see some of the design. Lead back. That's cool. I like it. Out of the same hole that the rosette came out of, uh, took this piece of iron harness buckle. Good shape. Also, uh, got this piece of an uh, old dark glass bottle out of the same hole. So, real trashy area. No telling what could be in here. know what kind of button this is it appears to be a flattened out two-piece button of some sort I'll have to uh, get it home do some cleaning on it see if I can figure out if it's anything well honestly I'm not real sure what I have here whether it's some sort of a drawer pull or possibly the uh, tip of a ramrod from uh, an old muzzle-loading rifle, uh, possibly flintlock, got some age to it, whatever it is, brass tip, appears to be iron screw in the end. Gave a good signal, whatever it is. And next up is a flat button. Shank's missing on it. Looks like I may have scraped the face a little bit. Doesn't look like it's got any design on it. Which is good since I scraped it. And the lock cover. And the round ball comes up. First one of these I've dug in a little while. I've uh, climbed down the slope here, started hunting the lower area. And another flat button comes up. This has got the shank, it's bent over. Gave me a really great signal. Really impressed with this dais. And next up is a little smashed in uh, ball button. Hitting some targets in this area. Picked this up in the overgrowth area a little while ago. This was one big bottle. Wish I could have found it whole. Don't know if you can see this at the bottom of this hole. But it appears to be a little ring, and I think it may be gold. Uh, from the size of it, well, it's either a very small woman or a child's ring. This is an old plantation site. It's gold. It's a very small ring, but it is a little gold 
wedding band looking ring. Very good, very good. And uh, typical of a antebellum period gold ring, I don't see any markings at all inside. The white picket fence you see uh, right there is where uh, Jefferson Davis's first wife, Sarah Knox Taylor Davis, is buried, as well as his sister and a brother. Uh, I am hunting around some early 20th century graves that are buried outside of the, uh, the enclosure. Uh, this is private property that I'm on. Now where the white picket fence is, is, uh, is a state uh, commemorative area. Anyway, uh, digging in this area, I just thought I had a piece of aluminum, but instead what I come up with is this. Charlet Brothers Monuments Company, Clinton and Zachary. So I presume that this was a, uh, a grave marker company, uh, probably early 1900s, because all these graves in here are early 1900s. Interesting little find anyway. This, is, this appears to be aluminum.